I just want to take a small 30 second uh, explanation. Uh, Chakravarti asked me to do this. The Murthy Classical Library is an endowment created by the uh, Infosys founder, Narayan Murthy, and his son, Rohan Murthy, to enable a set of scholars from the West, and the key person there is Sheldon Pollock, Professor Sheldon Pollock, to translate classics from a variety of Indian languages into English. The unfortunate part is, of course, as Rajiv Ji will say in the next few lectures, and I would like to suggest to you, this is my pitch to you to attend his other lectures too, because he is going to expand on that, as to what has happened there. I'll leave it there. Right? Yeah. This will be 10 times as many books translated as Max Miller. So this is Max Miller times 10. <laughs> you see, now maybe they got good intentions, Murthy Library people, but they should have done due diligence. They are business people. You do due diligence before you give funding. If you were to invest in an IT company, uh, you would do due diligence, check them out. So similarly, if you're investing in somebody, a venture to produce the future translated version of your heritage, you better have them checked out by somebody independent. They should have commit, created a panel of traditional scholars to go and do this book I am doing. I am not as qualified as so many other people, but I'm working very hard to do the best I can. They should have gotten this done before giving any grants to those people to and sit down and negotiate with them and say, okay, these part of your ideology, we don't want. You have to change. Otherwise, we get somebody else. But handing something over and being in awe like this Devata, this is the new Pandit. This is the last. There are articles I've seen praising things like the last Pandit. Uh, like this, uh, this whole uh, tradition of pandits are over. This is the last pandit. Wow, he was so grateful to him. This kind of a heroism is dangerous. You have to be balanced, be able to. Uh, they should, rather than getting angry at me, which is what they're doing, they should actually thank me that I'm doing a job they ought to be doing. They ought to be funding me to uh, be a, a counterbalance and bring a perspective. Exactly. So, so quickly. They are funding Sheldon Pollock and team. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And what do they do? Whatever has got translated will be available at a very low cost to a lot of universities in India who will then take it as the golden standard to be able to tell the people, this is what your cultural heritage is. But the tragedy is, instead of learning the vernacular, meaning learning the Indian languages and understanding the original in proper form, we will use the English version, which they have got to put it into a translated mode that is filled with all the things that Rajiv would like to share with us. And, but and, that's the next lecture or and, lecture and, later. And one of uh, Pollock's most important uh, works is titled The Death of Sanskrit. He claims it died a thousand years ago. And I claim that it's, it's actually his agenda to have the death of Sanskrit. And this method, this Murthy library is a method to achieve that. Because then the Sanskrit is irrelevant. Uh, it, is, it is replaced by whatever the translated version is. That becomes the new Ramayana, the new Mahabharata, the new this, that is all the texts people read in these very simplified you know, ways uh, through the eyes of mainly Western thoughts, Western thinkers. Uh, that is very dangerous. Then our tradition is dead, sits in a museum, and some knowledge is extracted and processed through a foreign lens and packaged. That's what it will happen.